This is the story of India, recounted through its maps. The idea of Hindustan is old, but the first maps of the land were made only after the advent of Europeans by sea in 1498. Europeans made the first sketches and maps of ports on the shores of Hindustan. By the end of the 16th century, the East India trading companies had established factories along the coasts of the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. They mapped sources of spices, opium, indigo, fine textiles and gems. One early map that depicted the distinctive shape of the peninsula was published in 1596. This chart was popular with mariners on voyages across the Indian Ocean. By the 17th century, the Hooghly River in the Ganga Delta was bustling with commerce. Many factories were established along its banks. Hydrographers also carried back facts about the shipping routes, seasonal winds, ocean currents and even pirate-infested seas. The importance of maritime trade and transport are reflected in these early maps. In the map of the Malabar and Coromandel coasts, published in 1733, a magnificent cartouche shows merchants trading in ivory, jewels, fruit and coir ropes which were salt-resistant and useful at sea. But the interior of the subcontinent was still largely unexplored and unmapped. This reflected the dangers and difficulties of travelling inland. However, on maps of Mughal Hindustan, oft-travelled overland routes were well marked. The British East India Company went to war with the Mughal governor of Bengal in 1757 and won the Battle of Plassey. This gave them rights to settle in Bengal. And so began the colonization of India by military conquests from the East. The first Surveyor General of Bengal, James Rennell, surveyed the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta from 1764 onward. He published the first survey maps of this theatre of war and commerce in the Bengal Atlas. In 1783, Rennell published the map of Hindustan. The British marched across Hindustan fighting battles against native kingdoms and their allies. However, the Marathas were a power to contend with. At this time, new ideas in science relating to the shape and size of the earth had gained acceptance. The Great Trigonometrical Survey began in 1802. It was a stupendous exercise, measuring and mapping the subcontinent, which was completed in eight decades. Many topographical maps were made for the first time, showing places in their correct positions and heights above sea level. In the process, the highest mountain peak, Mount Everest, was also discovered. Maps were made not only for military needs, but also for marking territorial boundaries, levying taxes accurately and collecting tributes from humbled adversaries. In 1857, Indian soldiers rebelled against the British in several places in the northern plains of India. Maps record the arrival of European soldiers from other British colonies to quell the Sepoy mutiny. By the 20th century, the empire stretched from the Hindu Kush in the north to the Indian Ocean in the south, Baluchistan in the west to Burma in the east. This was the most extensive territorial expression of the idea of Hindustan. At the end of the colonial rule, maps marked up 17 British administered provinces and 562 princely states in the Indian Empire. In August 1947, they divided into the new independent nations of India and Pakistan. Once again, the boundaries of Hindustan faded away from the map only to be redefined by new ones.